Hello my little cuties. So I'm just going for a walk around this nice little field I show you. See? And I just thought I would talk to you guys. First of all I want to show you my hair. It's blowing around a little bit because I'm outside. But this is what it looks like when it's not blowing around. I think it's super cute. Yes. <laughs> I really wanted to just talk to you guys about like motivation because um, I checked my weight and I am now 50 kilos finally so getting down to my goal weight um, my next goal is like around 48 kilo type thing so I'm really trying to just like slim right down little petite little sexy girl <laughs> um so i wanted to talk about like what motivates me and how i get the motivation to go to the gym how i get the motivation to eat right and i literally just had a black coffee so i'm like yeah let's film let's go for a walk <laughs> pre-workout <laughs> i did shoulders today so you can go watch my shoulder workout video as well um, <clears throat> okay so where should I start so motivation so it's been a hard long road for me I've been trying to get like the perfect body in my head for years and back when I was with my ex he was like constantly just like fucking my shit up like I got to the point after my third child where I got really fit looking and I was really happy with my life making progress and then he got me pregnant so I got the fattest again I had ever been which was really like disheartening and I gave up completely and I was suicidal and like I was like it was bad like I had the hospital coming to check on me because I was like damn suicidal like no joke <laughs> so um that's how like rock bottom rock bottom it's been for me um and now I feel like I'm going to the top finally after years but it's literally been like oh my god uh, I don't know what 20 20 years I don't know something like that like a really long time that I've been trying to get like the perfect body so um I've had a lot of ups and downs and I guess where I really sort of started to try and get like a better body and stuff was when I met Dale and I sort of realized oh shit like you know new partner and all this sort of stuff and like I was a mum of four so I was like already like stressing about like how my body looked and everything um, so we started going for walks every day and stuff like that um, but then I got to the point where I sort of like wanted to like level up like I needed more than just walking so we started going back to the gym every day <coughs> and it wasn't it wasn't like just that easy like it wasn't just like yeah go to the gym get fit type thing like I've been trying for the past six years to get to this mindset where I can eat right um, I can train without sort of feeling stress about it um, you know just so it becomes like a lifestyle and becomes heaps easier it's been a really long hard road for me <laughs> like especially for me having like a really big sweet tooth I've struggled a lot like I mean a lot like even <laughs> okay so a couple of years ago I actually downloaded the my fitness power which is a tracking app and I had it I deleted it 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 and now I have it again and the other day I actually went back through to see what sort of input I put into the app during my periods of having the app and I literally <laughs> I pretty much like didn't even track when I had it to be honest and when I did track I never put in like any bad food that I had like it was just a complete mess so I practically just never tracked 
but I don't see it as like, oh, I'm just a failure. I see it as, well, you know what? For years, I kept trying. So I had that app and I deleted it. I had the app, I deleted it. But the thing is, for years, I never gave up because here I am today and I'm tracking every day. Every day is perfect. So you got to sort of change your mindset. So it's like, see, I think people see things as like, oh, well, I failed, so I'm just going to give up, like it, the past me. But I think I've changed my mindset to a point where I've gone, you know what, I am so sick of fucking with this. I am just going to fucking do it this time, and I'm going to do it right once and for all. And when you really, like, track and really start working on your nutrition and you know play around with foods even um so the last couple of weeks especially i've been adjusting things playing around with things trying to sort of see what works for me and i've gotten to this point now where it's like on point and i'm never like really starving um i'm never sick I'm never out of energy. I eat carbs, I eat protein, I eat chocolate protein bars, I eat everything that makes me happy and everything that makes me feel good. And um, I can even tell you right now what I eat. So I'll wake up. <clears throat> My breakfast first is um, oats and a half a scoop of protein powder. The reason why I do half is because it brings my protein up for the day, which keeps me fuller for longer. Um, but it also keeps my kilojoules down a bit as well because I don't need that much. <laughs> so a half a scoop is fine for me. Um, and that keeps me going all the way till lunchtime. Lunch, I will always have carbs and protein. So I'll have a bread roll with chicken. I will have tuna sandwich, something with a bread, because I love bread. I'll have bread and a meat and put them together and it's the best <laughs> and then um, also I've cut out like pretty much all sugar um, I don't have milk anymore um, but you do whatever you want to do um, so all my coffees are always black I'll have one hot black coffee in the morning after my breakfast um, and then during the day, I will always just have like black iced coffees because I just find them really refreshing. Um, so there's that. My afternoon snack is usually a chocolate protein bar. So I find protein bars a really good substance for, or replacement I should say, for like a sweet tooth if you need like a, a chocolate bar or something like that because they still taste sweet and they're really thick and yummy and gooey. But you're getting like no sugar and it's really high in protein. So I find them the best. Um, and then if I need like an afternoon snack, it'll be like something to do with eggs. So I've been eating a lot of egg whites. Or sometimes I'll have um, some sort of protein and veggies. So I just get little packet steamed veggies, throw them in the microwave, done. So good. Um, I only ever have like pepper and salt. I don't add like sauces or anything like that. Um, my dinners are usually just um, chicken breast and broccoli and I sort of mix that in a pot together and I find that really enjoyable. Just pepper, salt, garlic. Um, before bed, I'll usually just have a piece of fruit like an apple, which I find a really filling now. <laughs> and um, I have these Yoplait zero yogurts they're actually like a decent size yogurt um but they're like the lowest i've found and i just put one in the freezer for i don't know 15 20 minutes and they're really thick and they're like ice cream so that's just some tips of like what sort of food get me through the day and have helped me a lot because i'm a big sweet tooth i love yummy food <laughs> and it's really worked for me so hopefully it can work for you too but back to the motivation thing I think now my mindset has changed a lot and that's the main thing that you have to change is your mindset like you have to really want to do it 
Um, I used to look at other girls for motivation before my workouts and and it kind of always just like get me down. I'd get to the point where it's like, oh, I'm never going to look like them. And I'll just get really depressed. And you know how it is. Um, but now I kind of, I'm different. Like I'll look to girls for workouts, but I see it different. I just see it as motivation. But my biggest number one motivator is myself now. So since I've changed my nutrition and I'm literally like seeing the results properly for the first time, it's given me this motivation that's like I've never felt before. Like it's different. It's like it gets you excited to eat your healthy food. It gets you excited to want to go to the gym and not skip. Um, excuse me. <laughs> I literally just had my chocolate protein bar and um, my black iced coffee. So I'm like, oh, so full right now. And it gets you excited for like, like your stomach shrinking. Like it's getting so small. And like I can feel my abs and everything now. Like it's crazy. But it just gets you really excited for life. Like every day you just like, Oh, I'm so excited I get to have my healthy food. I get to go to the gym. Like I'm gonna I'm working towards getting like slimmer and sexier and I feel so good. And it just you get to this point where you just you motivate yourself and you just get like really excited for life and excited to like reach your goals and everything. I don't know, like you can probably hear it in my voice, like I get really like I'm probably gonna lose my voice. <laughs> because I just get so excited and it makes me like real like chatty <laughs> but I'm really hoping that I don't know like I want to be able to help other people because I really want you to feel this feeling that I feel like because I know what it feels like to be so depressed and feel like you're never going to get there and feel like you always just want to give up and like I know all them feelings. I've been so depressed, I've been suicidal. I fucking know how it feels and it's so shit. But to get to this point, and like you guys are probably watching this like, oh, here we go again, another one. <laughs> but honestly, that's how I used to look at other people that were like this. Like they would be like really fit and everything. And you kind of get down because you feel like you're never gonna get there. But it's literally just nutrition. I'm telling you right now, if you can change your nutrition, you are honestly going to see the best results so fast. I'm not even joking. Like in a couple of weeks, I started to see results just from changing my nutrition. And sugar was like probably one of the biggest killers for me and fast food. I stay clear. Stay the fuck away from fast food. <laughs> I'm not even joking like find a healthier option to replace that craving or something that you have but the thing is eventually you'll get to this point where you'll like really really I mean really enjoy your healthy food I don't even enjoy bad food anymore like I know they don't like to say bad food but you know like fast food or like sugary food or I literally put my frozen berries in the microwave the other day and I heated them up and I put it on my oats and it made them taste like super sweet and it made me sick so the next day I could hardly even eat. It's just like it, you get to this weird point where it's like you just want like the raw healthy food like you don't want you don't want to add anything or I don't know it's just really good and I'm really happy that I'm finally here. <laughs> It's been such a long road. <laughs> but I don't know. I guess this is just mainly like a thing where hopefully I can help to motivate somebody out there. And I don't know. Anyway, this is what I look like right now at 50 kilos. And today I did shoulders, so I got like a shoulder pump today. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I love you guys, and I hopefully you enjoyed this little motivational video. <laughs> um, but go out there and smash your goals, kill it. I know you can do it, and I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to help you. If you need to know anything or anything, I'm actually a personal trainer as well. 
I don't do it anymore, but I have the knowledge. <laughs> um, if you want to know anything or if you need help with anything, just hit me up. I'm always here to help anybody out. I really want you to live a happy, healthy lifestyle. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.